editing cell content data the steps to edit the data in a cell are double click in a cell to edit the data in it or click in the cell and press f2 function key now edit the data or click in the cell and edit the data in the formula bar note to delete the data in a cell press the backspace key or delete key to replace a part of existing data select the part of the existing data numbers or letters type the new content to insert new content in the existing data click and position the insertion point and type the new content saving a workbook the steps to save the workbook are click on the file tab click on save as option the save as pane appears on the right of the window to save the file in local memory drive click on computer if not selected and then on browse button the save as dialog box appears enter the file name in file name text box select the location to save the file click on save button the workbook or file is saved shortcut to save a workbook control plus s note if you have not saved your file before closing excel displays a confirmation dialog box asking you whether you want to save your file before closing or not click on save if you wish to save the file click on don't save if you don't wish to save the file click cancel if you wish to cancel the action and return to the file closing a workbook you have completed the work and saved the workbook now close the workbook not the excel window the steps to close a workbook are click on file tab click on close and backstage view opening a workbook you know that once you have saved a file you can open it later the steps to open an existing workbook are click on file tab the backstage view appears click on open option the open pane appears on the right of the window if the required file is listed in recent workbooks section click on it or click on computer click on browse button the open dialog box appears select the location where the required file is saved select the file click on open button shortcut to open a workbook control plus o adding a new worksheet you know by default only one worksheet is provided by ms excel 2013 when you open a new blank workbook the steps to add more worksheets in the workbook are click on new sheet icon located next to sheet 1 tab or right click on the sheet tab select insert option in the context menu the insert dialog box appears in general tab select worksheet icon click on okay button shortcut to insert a new worksheet shift plus f11 renaming worksheet the steps to rename a worksheet in the workbook are double click on the sheet tab that you want to rename or right click on sheet tab and select rename option in the context menu it will be highlighted type a new name and press enter key deleting worksheet the steps to delete a worksheet are on home tab in cells group click on delete button select delete sheet option or right click on sheet tab that you want to delete select delete option